Um, I'm done. I just have to finish up my uh, ending part. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here. You're silly. Today you we are gonna be swatching. I'm not swatching. Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my monthly favorites for April. I know I'm a couple days late, but I've been having all sorts of stomach issues. Um, I will link that video below. It's a get ready with me about where I explain my stomach issues and my life and what's been going on with me lately, the past week at least. And oh yeah, we're going to pick our mystery bag giveaway today. I'm going to have Carter do that at the end of the video. So make sure you stay around for that for the winner and also i'm going to be putting up another mystery bag giveaway and the rules once again are going to be linked down below but basically you have to be a subscriber come and subscribe to my instagram as well it's Callie fab same as my name here and 1991 is for my instagram so make sure you're subscribed to both of those or following whatever, following Instagram, subscribed here, you get it. And then make sure you leave a comment down below on your favorite product for the month with your email address and I will email you if you're a winner. So I'm super excited again, we're gonna pick a winner. It's gonna be fun. I'm really enjoying this. I don't have many products this month, but let's just get on into it. By the way, Sorry if you hear noises, my window is right there. Literally right there, and I have another one right there. Um, there's, I don't know, some sort of trucks going by. I think somebody's moving, or school buses, I don't know. But you can just hear cars just driving by. Sorry, but my house is warm, and I need a window open for some sanity and for my uh, ness, my ness that I have going on right now. So, sorry about that. So I'm going to start talking about my products just in no particular order. Something I have been loving this month, I actually bought it on accident. I was supposed to buy it for the Sephora VIB sale, but I bought it early, dummy me, and I just, I love it. I can't stop using it. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in highlight number one. Oh, it's so amazing right there oh yeah i'm not actually wearing it today surprisingly i've been wearing it every single day but oh, it's so nice and it leaves such a beautiful highlight to your cheeks so definitely recommend that if you can get your hands on it it's quite expensive i'll be honest and i bought it at full price idiot but if you can wait for a vib sale from sephora i would recommend doing that because it is an expensive powder the next one I have is a, it's what I've been using for my foundation every single day. I don't typically use liquid foundation because I like a more sheer finish. I don't like to be full coverage, but I have been using the Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation in the shade Light Neutral. Here it is here. You can see that I've like pretty much rubbed off the Tarte BB sign. Um, this actually pops out of this compact pretty easily, so if you were to put it in a um, magnetic palette, maybe not a Z palette because all that stuff going on with Z palette right now, but if you were to put it in a palette, it comes out very, very easily. But I've been loving this. I actually used it as my powder for today on top of a BB cream. <sighs> Amazing. Seriously, this is the best product ever. I wish I would have gotten more when Sephora or when Ulta was doing their 21 days of beauty these were actually on sale for like half off pretty expensive I bought mine full price of course but if you can get your hands on it best powder ever and it doesn't make my face look powdery or cakey at all so the palette I've been using this entire month literally the entire month I couldn't even wait to do my haul without using this palette is the Lorac unzipped palette and it just looks like so. It probably doesn't even look like I've dented any of them, but I swear to you, I have been using this nonstop. It's such a beautiful palette, especially for the springtime. I've been loving it. I've even been getting into some of these like cranberry shades over here. I'm typically like a browns, coppers, golds type person, but these cranberry shades are just the right amount of cranberry with the right amount of brown. If you can grab this, seriously, get it. It's 
amazing. I love, love, love this palette. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going on with the eyes. I have been loving this ColourPop shade in the shade Flipper. It's a super shock shadow, so it's definitely sparkly. I believe it was in one of their spring collections. Um, but I've been using it all the time and I'm surprised that the dip is only that little in it because I've been really getting into it and using it and it looks so beautiful all over the lid. I typically will do like a light, light transition color and then just do this all over the lid and it looks great. Super simple, easy to put on. I do get a little bit of fallout so if you want to use like a glitter glue or something that would help. But Highly recommend this one, and I believe it's still for sale right now on ColourPop's website. Something else that I bought at the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, I bought that Lorac palette there as well, but I bought the Shiseido Eyelash Curlers. Oh, seriously? This is amazing. Look at how, do you see how it's like not super curved? I'm gonna show you one of my other favorite eyelash curlers. It's this Revlon one. Look at the difference. So look at that Revlon one. And then look at that one. See how much flatter the Shiseido one is than the Revlon one? The Revlon one has more of a curve. So if you have, not bug eyes, but if you have eyes that pop out more, that have more of that curve to it, the Revlon one is, is fantastic. But if you have flatter eyes, kind of like me, the Shiseido one's actually better. It curls my eyelashes much better, but because I'm not used to the curve being so minimal, I actually poke myself in the eye when I use it. That is what I would suggest for an eyelash curler. It's expensive if you're not getting it on sale. It was like $21 or something if you don't get it on sale, but I bought this for 10 bucks. So highly recommend this if you need a new eyelash curler that's gonna last, this is it. I'm gonna mention two mascaras that I've been using this entire month. One, you guys already know that I love. I use it all the time. I mention it all the time in my movies. It is the Mirabella Lash Lux Mascara. Seriously, I, I don't even have any more words for this because I've said so many good things about it. I love it. It's nothing special. I swear to you, it literally has nothing special about it except for when it applies to my lashes. I don't know if it's just me, but it is beautiful. This is one of the products I'm trying to use up this year. It's actually drying out quite a bit because I've been using it all the time. So I had to use two layers on my eyelashes today but they look amazing. And then paired with the Shiseido eyelash curlers, winning. It's, I'm a winner, I win. The other mascara that I mentioned before that I didn't like, but now I love it. It's dried out a little bit since I've been trying to use it up this year. Another product I'm trying to use up. It is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer mascara. I hated this at first. I was so mad that I bought it, I think I, Heard a recommendation from Tati Westbrook, uh, Glam, Glam Life Guru, and I bought it thinking it was gonna be this amazing product or whatever, and I was so disappointed when I used it. And now that it's dried up a little bit, I love this mascara. I use it all the time. It does clump a little bit and it gets a little chunky, but if you work it through your lashes, they kind of, you know, the clumps kind of go out. <sighs> Great, great mascara. Once I'm ready to repurchase another drugstore mascara, this one will be it. Okay, I'm gonna get my two favorite lip products for the month out of the way. I've been loving this like light, peachy, pink, bubblegummy, creamy, I don't know, look to my lips lately with a natural, you know, more natural eye look. But the one I've been using the most is Fiesta and it's a cream by ColourPop and it is a lippy stick. It's such a beautiful, like, bubble gummy pink. This is the one I've been using the most. And then on my other lip products, like my matte lipsticks and my matte liquid lipsticks, I'm not in the mood for matte right now. So what I've been putting on top of it is this Ulta Mineral Lip Gloss, and it's in the shade Sheer Opal. It is beautiful. It's got like this paintbrush applicator, which I didn't think I'd like at first, but now that I've been using it more, God, it works so well. And you can really get precision on the spots where, you know, I mess up all the time with my lipstick. I highly, highly recommend this. I haven't tried any other colors, but this one in sheer opal, perfect for my, you know, spring look that I've been going for with my lips. So check it out at Ulta. Beautiful, it stays on my lips. It's creamy, it's not too sticky. Perfect product.
Okay, now I'm gonna get my hair products out of the way. I have been blow drying my hair quite a bit. I typically wait for my hair to get dry on the top layer and then the underneath is still really wet, usually when my hair air dries, so then I'll blow dry it. But the cream that I've been putting in my hair every single time I know I'm gonna blow dry my hair is this Briogeo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. Oh my gosh, I think I got this in a BoxyCharm like last fall and I didn't typically blow dry my hair then. I don't know why, I just let it air dry a lot. But now that I've been blow drying more, oh, this is like a godsend. Seriously, look how soft my hair is today. I mean, I did flat iron it, uh, of course, but look at how soft it is. This is what I am giving credit to along with one other thing, which I'll mention here in a second, which you probably already know, but this is great if you can pick it up. I know it's a bit on the expensive side, but Briogeo is such a good brand that's come out that I don't think you'll be disappointed. This is really, really good. It's thick, it's um, moisturizing, it's creamy, it's perfect. My other hair product that I know you guys already know that I'm obsessed with is this Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I use this as a leave-in conditioner. I don't know if it's supposed to be used as a leave-in conditioner, but that's how I've been using it and loving it. It. So I'll do my cream, my serum at the top, I'll do my oil at the bottom, I'll do this all over my hair and before I even brush it, you know, get it all in and then if I'm in a blow dry, I'll use my heat protectant cream after. <sighs> Seriously, best combination ever. This stuff, it has the strangest smell to it. I know I've mentioned that before. It's got such a weird smell. I love it. This is the best thing I've gotten in my Ipsy bag in the longest time. I've repurchased this little one already and I'm trying to repurchase the big one from Alta, but every time I go on to repurchase it, it's sold out. Ugh. So I gotta figure out a store that carries it or um, just keep watching it online until I can get the big one. But this one's actually empty, completely empty. I'm working on my second one right now, so hint, hint, nudge, nudge for an empties video. Right there. Um, I'm gonna be keeping these little ones for when I travel. I'm actually going to Niagara Falls in two weeks. So I'm gonna be keeping these little ones so I can bring them with me so I don't have the big, huge spray bottle one. You know, I can just refill these, so. Those are my favorite two hair products of the month. Then I just have four more face products to go over. I have been using this Milk Makeup Sunshine Oil every single day. This has been going on my dry spots before I put any um, foundation on after my primer. So I'll put my primer on and see how my skin looks. And then usually my dry spots are up here by my hairline, right here on my nose and between my eyebrows. And then a little bit right here on the side of my smile lines and sometimes right in here on my nose. Those are pretty much my only dry spots and I've been just rolling this. This is a little rollerball top to it. I've been just rolling this on those spots and kind of rubbing it in with my finger. And then I'll go in with my foundation or my powder foundation typically. And those dry spots, nothing clings to them because they're not dry anymore. They're oiled, they're nice. If you have found one that has worked really, really well, let me know about it in the comments below and I'll have to check it out. Then for my under eye brightener, I have been staying away from concealers lately. Concealers are creasing so bad on me right now and I don't know if, I don't know why it is, honestly, they, but every single concealer I've used has creased on me. So I've been kind of staying away from concealers and using a brightening powder instead. So this is the one I've been using pretty much every day. I've been using the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the shade Banana, and this I just get, let me grab the brush. I just get this in here, and I just kind of pat it in, and then pat, 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 and then usually I go down my nose, and then I go all over my lids to kind of brighten that area and I'm done. And it gives me such a nice brightening effect under my eyes without using creasy concealer because this doesn't crease on me. My eyes have no creases in them now. But if I were to use a liquid concealer and then put this on top every single time, no matter what, no matter what concealer I use, it creases. So this NYX banana powder has been fantastic for me. And I'll even put it sometimes on my cheeks too because I get redness on my cheeks. I know I should, I should pick up the other colors. I think they have a purple and a green too. Um, I'm gonna look into picking up those since I like this one so much, but this is great. And it's only like, what, three or four bucks maybe? Five? I don't know. Then the blush that I've been using 
non-stop, and I mean literally non-stop, has been from this ColourPop Double Play collection, and it's called Getting Handsy, is the blush color. Here it is here, is the palette, and it's this color right here. It almost looks like a bronzer, which is the weirdest thing, but for my skin tone, oh, it's such a perfect blush. It's actually the blush I have on my face right now. I'm actually wearing the highlighter as well, but I've been loving the Laura Mercier a lot more. I just tried this one today. But here is the blush swatched on my hand. It seriously has such a nude tone to it. And it's just, it's perfect. It's not too pigmented that it, you know, looks crazy, but it's pigmented enough that it looks good. It looks like a natural flush. And the shade of it is perfect for my skin tone. I'm just, I'm loving it right now. So this is the blush I've been reaching for the most this month. Finally, the very last product of the month that I've been loving and using nonstop every day is this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's actually been in my collection for quite some time now. I know that they came out with new packaging for this and I don't know if it's a new formula or not. I haven't heard of anybody saying the formula changed on this, but I've been trying to use this more because I know it's in the old packaging and I want to get a new one so when I, you know, display it on my channel you guys actually know what I'm talking about because some people not, might not know the old packaging. But I have been loving this. It has really made my makeup stay in place all day. I just spray it all over. The only con I have about this, the only con I have about this is the smell. The smell is so weird. It's just like this almost hairspray type of smell like I don't like an old old product smell that's literally what it smells like I hope the new packaging doesn't have that same smell to it because it kind of drives me crazy but it works so well and the sprayer the mister is so nice it just mists so beautifully and evenly all over the skin this is a really good setting spray so once again i will have another mystery bag giveaway to give away for the month of april hopefully i'll have may's video up before may is completely over sorry i was a little late on this so the rules once again for the mystery bag giveaway is just be subscribed to my channel leave a comment down below on your favorite product for the month so that i can check it out and also go to my Instagram, CaliFab1991, and follow me on Instagram. Make sure to go and check those out, and I'm not gonna give away any products this month for the mystery bag giveaway, but it's gonna be a good one. It's April's giveaway, and I had a lot of good stuff that I wanted to put in April's bag, so make sure you do those so you can be qualified for the giveaway. And I'm gonna get my son in here, and we're gonna pick a winner for the month of March. So, here we go. Ooh. We're One person. One person. We're giving away. You gotta go up on your knees though, so they can see you. We're giving away a mystery bag giveaway for my monthly favorites. Okay. So who? Persons. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so we are gonna pick a winner out of the bag, and Carter's just gonna reach in and grab a slip of paper with a name on it, and that'll be our winner for our mystery bag giveaway in April. April? March. In March. Because technically this is April's favorites. Yeah, okay. Go ahead, don't look. Reach in. Just grab a paper. Got one? Turn it around, what does it say? It says Brittany T. Sorry, I wrote it weird, but Brittany T, you are the winner this month for the mystery bag giveaway. So congratulations, and I will email you to get your address so I can ship it out to you. Congratulations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this April favorites and mystery bag giveaway. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And once again, I will leave rules for the mystery bag giveaway in the description bar. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're <laughs> subscribed and ring the bell. Bing. <laughs> for more videos from me, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Don't wave in front of your face, silly. <laughs> wave by your face so they can still see it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, you're done. Thank you. Ooh, that's dirty, sorry. It, oh, then you can see yourself. Hello. Month has been my Urban Decay All Nighter Naked Setting Spray. Naked? No. And it just gives me such a nice, do too much.
The smell is so weird. It's just, hear that going by? 